Hey, what is up guys? This is Byte back with another video, this time downgrading this thing from 11.1.34, I believe, down to 4.3. Now, I do not have a Cubic Ninja nor any of the games needed to uh, basically downgrade this using a web browser or any of the entry points. But what I do have is an Emunand on a 2GB original card that came with the, um, the 3DS. About a year ago or so I was messing with my 3DS and I managed to basically install a Emunand on this and totally forgot about it. So the idea here is to strip the emunand of this card and then take it and flash it back on the console. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I mean, this emunand is from this console, so I don't see a reason why it shouldn't. Now, if you have some sort of an emunand created with a console that you're trying to downgrade, you can do this as well but do not try to use a different emunand created from another 3ds and flash it on your 3ds because that's just gonna most likely brick it and you will be left with a broken 3ds i will be creating a video later on once i get one of the games i will be creating a video on how to you know downgrade from 11 point uh, whatever down to 4.3 and then back to up back to uh, 9.4 uh, 9, 9.6 I don't even know but anyway for now let's just try and downgrade down to 4.3 now to begin with you will need a modded 3ds I mean there is no other way to do this without the mod I mean there that, that that's that's a lie there is another way to do it um it's an experimental way but you need two 3ds's but i don't have that luxury so i will be doing it this way anyway once you have your console modded i mean i have a video on my channel where i do the whole modding process so once you have your thing modded you can proceed. You also need a card reader. This is a cheap one from Poundland. It works just fine. And you need your makeshift um, card, SD card with the like a little connector at the end. So let's just um, confirm that this is um, the right version. So as you can see here, it's 11.1.0.34. So, to start off, let's turn this off now. Just waiting for the logo to come up. There we go. So I'm just going to hold it. Okay, the light should go off. Yep. And now we can go ahead and connect the... Um, makeshift 3ds card or makeshift sd card oh this is awkward so i'm just gonna plug that in and push it in there uh, yeah that looks like it's in then take the other end and plug it into the card reader uh, awkward There we go. So now we can go ahead and turn this on and we should get the blue screen. There it is. So once you get this screen, you can go ahead and plug in the, um, the reader. I'll just move this to the side. In the um, USB that's connected to your computer. Once you do that, you're going to hear the doo-doo-doo. Once you plug it in, you will get this message that says... Let me just move the camera up a bit. There we 
go. And let's move it to the side. There we go. Let's slot that in the position. Unlock the exposure. There we go. You will get this message that says you need to format the disk in drive, whatever, before you can use it. Now, this is very important. Don't click format disk. If you do that, it's over. I mean, probably not, but I mean, let's just say, don't do that. Then you're going to get this message. Blah, blah, blah. It's not accessible. Okay, that's fine. Now, ignore all this gibberish. This is just my um, programming desktop. I'll, I'll switch back to the, um, the desktop that I'll use for this tutorial. So we've got two files here. I'll include all the uh, necessary software that you need for this process. So you can find the links in the description below. And um, yeah, one of them that we need is the disk or the Win32 disk imager. With this, we'll be able to back up and flash the, um, the NAND to the console. So right click on it and run as administrator. At this point, we just want to back up our existing ROM just in case something happens. We don't want to end up with a broken 3DS. So if anything goes wrong, we can always go back to this uh, step, back to the original version 11.1.34. So here it says uh, we need to specify a file name. So I'm just going to say, okay, just go here, go to the desktop, and we'll call it um, NAND. 11.1.34 uh, original um, I don't want any spaces here so I just put an underscore so at this point we will get this um, let me see if I can zoom in these options will become clickable so we want to read the existing NAND so quick read. This is going to take a couple of minutes, so I'll just fast forward this. So this is about to finish. So let's just wait a few more seconds and we should get the successful message. There we go, read successful. At this point you have a file that's called just NAND 30 or 11.1.34 original. Anyway, this is our backup file. Don't delete this. Okay, so now that we have that, I just put it in the corner here. And let's go back here. Go back to our console. There we go. Let's reset the zoom. Reset the exposure. There we go. So now that we have that, we need to disconnect this part from the card reader. So just disconnect it like so. Move it to the side. That's fine. And at this point, I'll use my card that already has Emunand installed on it. Now, this Emunand is 4.3, and I'll just rip off the Emunand from it. So I'm going to connect that in, and let's go back to the computer. Should get a pop-up. Reset that. So as you can see, I have some files in it. These files don't really matter at the moment. They're just my old files and files that I was messing with before. Anyway, we can exit out of that. And the next software we are going to use is called the Emunand tool. So run that as the administrator. You're going to get this pop-up that says... 
extract immunant or inject immunant. Now we want to extract it. Oh, never mind this. This is my uploader for cloud services. Not now. All right, so we want to extract. So after you connect your SD card to the card reader, go ahead and run the multi-tool, the 3DS multi-tool. It's also included in the uh, downloads, which you can find in the description below the video. So run it as the administrator, click yes. And here, make sure that your drive where the SD card is connected is selected in this option here. There should be only one option. Okay, so, so click on the extract NAND and it's going to take a couple of minutes for this to finish. Alright, once that's done, it should say operation successfully co completed. If you get any errors, try again or try a different card reader. Okay, so now that we have our uh, NAND 4.3 we can go ahead and flash it to the console but first we need to connect it to the um, to the reader okay let's fix the exposure there we go so take the uh, the card unplug it from the console or from the uh, SD card reader all right so now we just need to connect our 3ds to the um, the card reader, so just take that, plug it in there, and then take the other end and plug it into the USB thing. USB thing. And again, just once you get the thing on the Windows that says do you want to format it, just cancel that, and have that securely in. There we go. Now let's go back to the computer. Again, we want to run the Win32 Imager as the administrator. Locate the NAND 4.3. If you can't see it there, just click on this little um, drop-down menu here and choose the dot star. Then choose the NAND 4.3 and click Open. At this point, just click Write. It's going to give you this confirmation message, blah, 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 device, blah, 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 just click yes. And this is going to take some time as well. So just sit there patiently, wait for it to complete. It's going to take about four to five minutes to do. I'll get back here once this is done, since I'm running out of storage on my phone. Okay, so once the flashing is completed, you should get this message that says, write successful. Click OK. Click X and let's go back to our 3DS by just moving this little thing down. Whoop. There we go. And position it like this. Fix the exposure so it doesn't look weird. Focus. There we go. So now we can unplug the, um, the SD card from the card reader and we can go ahead and reboot the console. So if I just hold the button down for about 10 seconds, and power it up again, I said power it up again, don't mind my dirty desk. So, sorry, there was a phone call there and it just cut my recording, so I have to redo this step again. So go ahead and power up the uh, the 3DS. There we go. Click on settings. And we should have 4.3. So that's the downgrade successful. And again, that's using the emunant that I had on the um, SD card that I created 
about a year or two ago. So I'll have another video up where I go ahead and um, create the new Emunand. And that's all with the Emunand that was created a year or two ago on this SD card. So I don't have the games, uh, the Cubic Ninja or any of the other games that are usable for this process. But once I get my hands on it, I'll make another video. Although I do have a couple of more videos coming up with um, upgrading this console, the uh, system NAND to 9.7. 9.4 I'm not really sure which version is the highest I can go with so I'll have a video of that coming up soon and then creating an emunand on the card basically getting it to version 11.1 .1 or whatever the highest is at the moment so that I can play games on my emunand that way I can install CIAs and all the other programs that I ever want Anyway, that's it for this video. This has been Extra Null Byte, and if you want to see more videos and all of that stuff, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.